Thanks for your hospitality, but I need to go. Adventure awaits! As well as death. Death approaches. I do not want to be caught up in that death. Oh! It's falling ev ow, everywhere! Ow! Seriously, that's a lot of raiding death. Ugh. I do not want to be a part of that. I'm running away. And there we go. I'm now safe. Hmm. I wonder. Should I go down there? How about down here instead? That could be neat. Actually, let's try this one. So you follow legends to secret cowards like this. There you go. So wait, God damn it. I came out of here. Shit, I knew I should have fallen the other one. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. It's more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. This is your host, the MJ 406 and last time we were exploring Death Mountain. After wasting our time getting a lot of inventory upgrades. Don't worry. I'm ready now. So, we're going to explore what I actually need to. First, let me get a precious piece of heart. Those things are invaluable to me, damn it. I want them all! And well, there's one of you just managed to follow the ledge and get over here. Very much appreciated. See, I had to leave the same way anyway. There we go. This guy is I, so house for loss, son of a bitch. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain. Ah! The giant rock there is referred to as Spectacle Rock, I guess. Oh, by the way, fairies can respawn, so you can keep collecting them as much as you want. So you can find a fairy fountain. Just go refill all your health as much as you need to. Like, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, these guys are unaffected by freaking boomerangs. Just a heads up. You might be able to kill them with a bow and arrow, but I wouldn't rely on it because they move around so frequently. They hit with a bow and arrow. Ow! It's really difficult. I hate these worms! Soon you're going to learn why I hate these worms. As most people should. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Upward. Man, this is a really long ladder to climb. Ugh. Why, because I'm short? I don't know the height difference. Damn, ow. Okay, nowhere else to fall down to. Other places just fall down for the hell of it, but nothing to fall onto, for the looks of it. What the hell is that? Hmm. I wonder. Whoa! What's going on? Ah! I'm a rabbit. I am a rabbit. Probably shouldn't go there. I'm a rabbit. What the hell am I? Oh, who are you, Mr. Bunny? This world is like the real world where you almost twisted it. The gold powers would change your shape, your reflect what is in your heart and mind. I always, always changed my mind, so I turned to a ball. But you have a ball called the Moon Pearl. You can keep your original shape here. Ah, neat. What do you want? You have something to say to me, you silly rabbit? I came here to get the power of gold, but now I'm a freak, and I can't go back to the real world. If I only had the Moon Pearl for the Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. I got good reason to be stressed out, so back off! Shoo! Shoo! You really have to kick the ball guy, though? That's kind of mean. Okay, so this is weird. Why don't we test this out? Yes! Check it out! With the magical mirror, you can warp back! You get up here, and... Ooh, look at that! I climbed a cliff. Weird! It's like a different dimensional world. Huh. Neat. I'll keep that in mind. Ooh, what's the... Oh. God damn it, Hylians! Hold off the Master Sword, and you will get the magic of ether. Huh? I'm sorry, what? I don't have the Master Sword on me. Damn it. Well, it's fun to at least look at. I wonder what's this way. Should I be going this way? Oh, can't. Ah, tech tight! I'm leaving them. Okay, well that was fun. So, I guess now we'll go up here. Here we go! The Tower of Hera. Of the early game dungeons, this is by far the hardest. With good reason. Because, well... This, this dungeon... It's actually pretty simple to explore. There are some things about it, though, that make it kind of a chore. 
And these worms represent a bit of that reason. Get off! Oh, shit. Well, hopefully upgraded the magical boomerang so we can easily switch these back. Hit these to flip the pegs from blue to orange. That way you can actually, you know, get that. Oh, yeah, your boomerang can suck in items for you. So heads up. You know what? You should probably get the... Oh, hang on. Get out of here, you stupid fire-breathing dino. I should probably get the dungeon map. Dungeon map. You can use it to see your current position. So, let's see what this map is like. Whoa. That's a lot of floors. That's a lot of floors. Six floors. It's a very straightforward dungeon. Uh-oh, that last room doesn't look pleasant. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, I should probably talk to Sosrila. It is I, Sosrila, just going the elder. Oh, jeez, say that right, please. I have some advice. With the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror. To return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. How'd you know I got the magic mirror? Was that guy one of your agents or something? God damn it. Hmm. What's this way, I wonder? Ooh, floor three. We went up a little bit. Ah! Yeah, by the way, you can fall through those little holes that have the patterns in them. The circles, or the diamonds, whatever. Keep a note of those. That means, if you fall through them, you'll go to the floor below you. So yeah, heads up on that. And these guys, if you hit them or bounce into them, you'll bounce around. So careful of them. Also, your floor switches. Ah! Ah! You step on these, you can change the pattern of which floors open up and which ones don't. Oh, looks like I need the big key. Okay, then. Ah! Let's go back to hunting that thing down. So, yeah, get that one key so you go through here and get the big key. Right, right, right. I forgot about that big key. Son of a bitch. Oh, this room seems... Oh, of course. That would be the problem! Oh, god damn it. Yeah, by the way, you gotta survive this now. Not that it's a big deal, but it's annoying. Just survive it. Just keep running around to dodge the tiles. Don't be near where they summon before they move. As long as you got time to run from them, you won't get hit. These things are really annoying, though. But, yep, you gotta sit through all of this. It sucks. The one thing I hate about the dungeons in this game, the ones that have rooms like this. See? See? Why do they think that was a good idea? Also, I know I'm nearly dead. Shut up, freaking alarm clock. God, that's gonna get annoying. I do not want to use my life potion. That is a. Ow! Last resort. Ah! Shit! Freaking worm! I hate you! Ugh. I'm okay. I'm okay. Not full health. I'm fine. Asshole. Alright. Let's keep exploring. Ooh. Full magic jar. Makes me wonder. One, two, three, four. Sweet. Big key. You're mine. Hey, you can't just take that. Alright, red Stalfos are annoying. If they jump away from your sword swing, they'll throw a bone at you afterwards. So watch out for that. They are annoying. Alright. Gotta lower the blue, because that's how I get across. Well, at least those four tiles are gone for good. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Now with the big key, we can actually, ow, advance. Right, 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 right. right down there, lower the this is probably the dungeon your boomerang will be the most useful. Because you actually hit things from afar with it. You'll love your boomerang with this dungeon because of crap like this. You back off! Leave me alone! Let me go up the stairs! I don't want to sit through that crap again. <sighs> Alright. Now we go upstairs. Let me do that just for the hell of it. You can change the tiles to make this dungeon interesting, although thankfully they don't, like, trap you. 
Like I said, a lot of the game's early dungeons are like tutorial dungeons. They more teach you concepts about how the dungeons all play out. So you use those to learn how a lot of the dungeons will, you know, be designed and such. Rooms with interchanging properties and stuff like that. How about you back off, you stupid, freaking little iron thing. I don't know what you are, but you're annoying. Let me do this. Hang on. There we go. Up to the next floor. Like I said, this dungeon is very straightforward. Worm! No. No. I hate these worms. I wish they were dead. So I'll make them so. Dead! There we go. Thank you for walking to my sword. Huh. I guess it's the compass. Oh, gee, I wonder where the boss is. Could it be that he's at the top of the freaking dungeon? I mean, come on. That one was obvious. I mean, I guess the it would be nice if they compile the freaking dungeon map and the compass into one item. They don't really do that, though, which is kind of annoying. Oh, well. Don't really need to worry about it. Huh. I see the big chest, but I can't get over there. All right, then. Let's try falling onto it. Because of the way this dungeon works... Oh, God, fire bars. Maybe we can fall on top of it. Oh, yeah. Can't break those walls down. Back off. You know you still get pushed back when you hit these guys. Even when doing this, the spinning slash. The secret technique handed down by our people. Ballet lessons with sword arts. These red ones are super durable, by the way. They're a pain in the ass. So yeah, watch out for them. Okay, then. There must be a floor switch. Oh, it's next to the fire bar. So, what would happen if I try to fall through here? Ah! Well, look where I landed. We got the Moon Pearl! This protects the hero from the changing effects of the Golden Power. I guess it means I am the hero! You should have known that already! Hmm. Also, nice to note that there's a vase like that there. Hmm. Alright then. Let's try this. Ah! So, you want a little bit of an extra boost. Ah! Oh god, we're going down deep! Oh no! Ah! It keeps going! Help! Help! Where am I? Ah! Fairies, if you need them. Speaking of which, give me a fairy! You can only capture one at a time, which I actually appreciate. They don't make you capture more than one at a time. Hey, I'll warp pad to bring you back up. Thoughtful. All right. Here we go. Time for the boss. Let's go up to him, shall we? Guess what? It's a giant worm! This boss is a nightmare for early game. Oh, ho, ho. So yeah, you have a giant worm boss with its weakness being a tail. Note that you can fall below if you manage to get, uh, well, knocked off. Yeah, that's the thing. If you fall, this is much worse. Yeah, stop pushing me! Once this boss is nearly dead, he gets super fast. Uh -huh. So just try to work around him. Kill him! Yes! Oh. This boss be a giant pain in the ass. Well, that was fun. Ah! What are you doing? Well, I killed him. He should be dead now. That's good. Wait, what? Yeah, by the way, you fall, you have to do the boss fight over again. <laughs> Fuck you! That's why this boss sucks early game. If you keep falling, you take the struggle. That's why they have all those ah, pots. Damn it. That's why they have all these pots here. They all contain a heart each. So that way you can keep refueling in case you keep falling. And I just wanted to show you, even if you kill him, 
he will revive! If you grab the heart container and fall, then he won't. If I didn't grab the heart container. It's trying to showcase the point. Hey, he recovers fully when you fall. So just try to prepare yourself with spin slashes so you can deal with them quickly. So you try to hit him with bone arrows, but I don't even know if they would really work. But yeah, he likes to shove. Your spin slashes are your saving grace for this fight. Just try to keep spin slashing his tail. And whatever you do, do not get knocked off. If you hold B and keep doing that, he won't have an easy time knocking you off. There we go. There we go, heart container. Proof that he's dead. Ah, stop falling! <laughs> oh, but I'm having fun now. Stop wasting our time. Get back up there. Don't worry. As long as you collect the heart container, he stays dead. And the pendant will just generate in the center of the room if you fell afterwards. At least they don't soft lock you, which is smart. Thank God. I guess they thought about it in case somebody made a stupid mistake. There you go. If you can manage to survive that boss of hell, you get the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, you have collected all three pendants. Go now to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. Oh, yes. I will do just that. Hey, back off, you. Now, let's go to this world. Now I have the Moon Pearl on me, I don't transform. See? And the music has changed. You didn't change your shape. You aren't as normal guy, are you? Wow! Your shape didn't change. You got a Moon Pearl, huh? At least he didn't try to steal it from me. Or she. Whatever. Let's go in here. I mean, why not? Oh, dear. You know what? Never mind. Let's not go that way. Hmm. Let me see. Let's try the magic mirror. I can teleport myself back. Huh. Random cliff. Neat. Ow! So, yeah, I could go to a room that looks deadly as hell. So, I'm not going to do that yet. But, hey! Now I have the Moon Pearl, I can go to the, whatever that dark world is and not change shape. It sounds useful. That's because it is. Now, you'll excuse me. I want to kill all of you. So please excuse me. For I do not want to put up with your shit. Let's go. Ugh. Hello. Stupid bat. Ow! Whoops. Careful about that, you idiot. But here's your path back down. Trust me, it's better to do this than backtrack through the way you came up Death Mountain. This path is generally easier. Well, it's the only way to go through this path. Not that there's anything here, but it's generally safer. And look at that. Ah! It's nice to be back. So yeah, now we have all three of the pendants. Well, why don't we go get that Master Sword, huh? Also, note that the portal I used to come back from the Dark World thing has a mark on the map as well. Let's just say it's a bit helpful for you to know that. So there you go. How about you back off? There we go. Hey! 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 Thank you. Don't you dare hide that money from me! So now we have all three of the pendants. We should take the time to go get that Master Sword, huh? Oh, what the hell? Hey, you gotta pay me reparations for that. Is that Zelda 1? I'm not paying you for wrecking your house. Ow! So don't you dare. Such a dick move. Sweet, the Master Sword! No. Why are they all the fake pedestals there anyway? Like, what the hell? They're like a bunch of people wanted to create a fake legend. Eh, what have been the thieves doing? Trying to get people to try to pull a master and be like, Ha ha, he fell for it! You know, that's actually not a bad idea. I was in the... <clears throat> Screw you. Well, anyway, remember the master swords up this way. Now that I have all three pendants on me, maybe this will work. Alright, this is the first game featuring the master sword of the Zelda series, of course. Let's see. The hero's triumph on Cataclysm's Eve. Wins three symbols of virtue. The Master Sword he will then retrieve, keeping the knight's line true. Nice poem. All right, then. Let's see what happens. 
with the three pendants, I have the power! Yes! I've got it! Suddenly, Sahasrala contacts you telepathically. Oh shit! This guy! It is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat! With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers! The destiny of this land is in your hands! Please, this guy! And there we go! Just like that, I've got my Master Sword! Your attack power goes to my two! For this thing. This guy, help! The soldiers are coming to the sanctuary! Uh oh. Looks like they found Rosella was hiding. Shit. Also, the fog has been lifted. Cool. I appreciate that. So, yay. Now you can easily see where I'm going. But, well, as you may suspect, you got the Master Sword, and unfortunately, it was a moment too late. Aghanim managed to get to Zelda. Oh, he also went out full health. You have the Sword Beam, like he did in Zelda 1. You need the Master Sword for that. Does that mean that old man in the cave had the Master Sword? Or him? like, it's dangerous to go alone. Take the Master Sword. Jeez. Now you think of the legend, just like, all right, well, go out, have fun. Here's this weapon of legend. Go for it. Damn. Really lax of you to just give it to the first guy who came up here. Well, whatever. Now let's go get that magic thing they mentioned. May as well do it now, since it's on my mind. Gotta try and remember the quick way through here. But as long as I'm fast, it shouldn't be a problem. So you got a sword beam. It spirals around and basically goes straight. It doesn't always hit its target, though, so it's a little it's a little finicky. But, you know, it does its job. Oh, by the way, your sword beam is as strong as your original sword. So it's not that powerful. You're better off hitting somebody directly with your sword if you're trying to damage them. But, hey... I gotta say, it's a nice luxury to have if you don't want to get up close to your enemies. Haha, -ha, you can't hurt me during my bounce back for some reason. Ow! I'm going to the ladder, do you mind? Stupid boulders. Alright, that little portal thing. Basically, that little light portal, you step back into it, you go back to the dark world where you came. Otherwise, you go to the origin points, which are these little blue tiles. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I can get right now? Well, the Moon Pearl just lets me be able to explore the Dark World. Which, by the way, you're going to need this Moon Pearl, if it wasn't obvious enough already. So make sure you have that Moon Pearl on you. If you didn't get it in the Tower Hera, go back and get it now! <laughs> Ow! You dick! Because <laughs> otherwise, you're going to be in a world of trouble. You won't be dead without it, but it'll be a lot harder without it. But yep, you can, oh, you can see the bottom uh, left there with A button. Lift point two. Lift version two. I guess that's what that means. You can see the moon pearl, the flippers, and all that. Now I have the Master Sword. If I come here the Book of Medora, let me do this. Oh, Master Sword, you will gain the magic. Get the magic of ether. Whoa! What the hell? Whoa. Sweet! This is the Ether Medallion. Its magic controls the upper atmosphere at polar wind. Watch your magic meter. You have a screen nuke move now. You'll need this, by the way. You'll actually need this move, believe it or not. Sweet. You know what? Let me just do a little bit of a... <laughs> I'm going to save myself a bunch of frames by quitting the game and coming back in. There we go. So you can start back up in the mountain cave, but... I'm going to start back up from Sanctuary. Oh my god! What happened? This guy, you're a second too late. I failed. Zelda, the soldiers have abducted, abducted her. They have taken her to the castle. You must find her before the wizard works his magic. Please, you are our only hope. Old man, no! God damn it, they will pay! They killed the old man! You bastards. Give me some apples for the road. Each one heals a heart. Sounds like a free heart for each one of those. Move. Ow! See? Twice as powerful. Lovely, isn't it? But see, you keep saving and quitting the game for quick warps to basically get you back to places you want to be at. 
Although, it'll mess up your game count once you beat the game. You'll see what that means. Alright, as far as I remember, I think I got everything so far. Alright then. Let's go forward. Whoa! I think I have everything up to the- Ow! At this point. If I don't, I'm not worried. I'll get more later. And I'm not gonna worry about getting my inventory upgrade right now. Ow! I don't need it right now. Besides, I'm gonna need this money for later. Hey, you ruined my house! Why is your house a small bush? What is wrong with you people? Hey, right, you ruined my house! Why are you guys camping out of these bushes? Also, ow! Hey, ow! Bombs hiding those two! Bombs that are like landmines. This is the only game that dicks you over for cutting grass. It's like, haha! You think you're gonna be safe cutting the grass? Bitch! Landmine! Oh! What an asshole move. What an asshole move. Okay. I'll end this episode pretty soon. There we go. Let's go. I got a fairy. All right. And there we go. I got pretty much everything I could up to this point. Practically. So I'm just gonna go here and end this episode. I already saved, so I don't really need to do it again. Can you back off? Yeah, see? There you go. It works like a regular sword in damage output. Which kind of sucks, but... Ow! Really? A landmine in front of my house? <laughs> Hope he likes that landmine I left behind. Ah! You dick. How dare you drop a landmine in my house? You son of a bitch. How do they not break in here when they know I'm here and they're looking for me? I don't know. Well, you shouldn't worry about it. Alright then, one well, this episode here. So, come back next time. And now that we've gotten our Master Sword, it's finally time for us to take down Aghanim and rescue Zelda from Hyrule Castle. It's really all we can do at this point. I don't know what this whole Dark World business is about, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's not my business, not my concern. Out of sight, out of mind.